All right, so here is the dial caliper. This is a high precision measuring device that we're gonna learn how to use today. First thing I want you to do is just do a quick sketch of it in your notebooks, and we're going to label a couple of parts. This right here is called the blade. This has the numbers for measurement on there. Do you wanna zoom in on that? That has the numbers on there. This is called the blade. This right here is the actual calipers part. Right? So you can stick something in there and measure it, and you can see how big it is. This is the calipers right here. And then this right here is the dial. Okay, and it's got the needle on there and the dial right here. So those are the three most important parts. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you wanna do, so go ahead, pause the video and do a quick sketch and then label the different parts. The first thing you wanna do when you get the dial caliper is you wanna make sure that it's zeroed out. So if you look at it right here, you can see the com caliper is completely closed. The distance should be zero, but yet, okay, we're having a little trouble zooming in on this. There we go. But yet it's not reading an actual zero. So what I'm gonna do to zero it out and get the reading right is I'm just going to loosen this screw right here. Then I'm gonna twist the dial till it's exactly at zero. And then I'm gonna tighten it up again. Now there's no need to go real tight, prove how strong you are. You can just kind of gently tighten it so that it won't easily rotate. There you go. So now your dial caliper is zeroed out and it's ready to measure. Now the cool thing about these is there's three different ways to measure. One is the most obvious way by using the caliper function. You can go right here and you can squeeze something and you can measure it. If you wanna measure the inside of something, you can use this function right here. So you can see when I close those, those are right there together. And then when I open it, I can measure the inside of something right like that, right? So I can measure the inside of that. I can measure the inside of that. I could measure the inside of that. Also, I can measure the depth of something. If I can't like get in there, or I can't measure it. You can see when I open this, there's a piece that comes out the bottom. That can help you measure the depth of something. So for instance, if I wanna know how deep, how big the extrusion on this Destiny logo is right here, I can just put that in there like that and push it down. And all of a sudden, you can see it's measuring the depth of it right there for me. Okay, so let's actually measure and learn how to take the full measurement using the dial caliper. And we'll do it three different ways. We'll take three different measurements. First thing let's do is zoom in right here on the blade itself so we can see those numbers. Okay, so now you can see there's a zero right here, the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, and the six. Six is as big as it gets. So those are our whole inch measurements. Zero whole inches, one whole inch, two whole inch, three whole inch, four whole inch, et cetera, et cetera. Then there's these smaller numbers that are not raised up. Those are the tenths of an inch. So for instance, right here, something like this would be about 2.2 inches. So if you zoom in on that, yeah. Oh, perfect. So you can see there's the two inch right there and then there's the 0.2 inches right there. Okay, and then the other digits are going to come from the dial themselves. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's put this thing in the uh, calipers. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there, tighten it up, then I'll leave it right there and we'll zoom in so we can see it. The first thing you wanna record is you wanna record your whole inch number. So I can see that large number right there is a two, and then it's a 0.5, so 2.5, and then now I'm gonna look at my dial. And of course, I always want to record an uncertain digit. So I'm gonna look right here. I'm gonna see that it's falling right there on 2.542. So there's four zero, four one, and four two is right there. Then I'm gonna record that uncertain digit. It looks like it's either a zero or a one. From my vantage point, it looks like a one. So I'm gonna call that 2.5421 inches. There we go, let's do another one. So we'll go ahead and close it up, make sure it's still zeroed. 
the zeroing looks good. Let's measure the inside of something. Let's measure the internal diameter right here of this circle. So we're gonna go ahead, do that, set the measurement. Looks good. Now we'll see if we can carefully pull it out. That looked like it turned out okay. And once again, I'm first going to look for my, uh, my whole number, which is zero decimal point and now I'm gonna look at my tenths and I'm glad this happened because this is the number one mistake that everyone makes right you can see the seven right there but we don't want to write down seven we only want to write down a number if we can see the number and the line that follows it so I can see the zero and I can see the six so I'm gonna write down 0 0.6 because I can see the line after the six I can see the number seven but I can't see the seven so it's gonna be 0 0.6 something. Now we look at our dial to figure out what that something is. Looks like we're right on 62. So I'm gonna put 0 0.6620. Always include my uncertain digit, right? So 62 was known, the zero was uncertain. All right, last thing to measure, let's measure the depth of our Destiny logo. We're gonna close that and we will actually, we'll open it a little bit. We'll put it in there and we'll shut this. There we go. Okay, so now I've taken the depth reading. Make sure everything's pushed down as much as it can go. Looks good. All right, we'll take a look at our thing. Again, our initial digit is zero. Or sorry, our, our whole number is zero. Zero point, looks like we made it to the two and we can see the line after the two. So it's zero point two. Uh, and then I'm going to call this 09, 0 0.209. So you can see it's barely past 2, so 0 0.209 makes sense. And then it looks like we're very close to the 10, so I'm going to go ahead and put 0 0.2099. Again, this is the uncertain digit. So there you go. That's how you measure with the dial caliper. Uh, let's take a look at this one. This is the whole number, the whole inch. This one right here, the tenth, comes from the blade. These two right here come from the dial. And this last one is uncertain. So go ahead and practice uh, with the worksheet that you have. And we'll see how it goes. Thank you.